Hi, in this project I'll try and make the image recognition app uh, from the Thunkerball uh, tutorials, but I'll do an, uh, a little extra to, to make it uh, uh, more, uh, to give it more features. So I'll call it uh, image recognizer. I create the project here and uh, it's a tutorial for here I'll uh, I'll do so I'll I'll just um, uh, make the <coughs> the the project here so I'll start with the button and then I'll drag in an image so let's find an image here and see what's next. Uh, then we need a camera. So, oh, I have to drop it. Oh, it's okay. Next. So, uh, in the block editor, uh, we shall pick the, on the button one, we shall pick the when block button one click. So, like this, and then uh, I'll open the drawer for the camera one here, and I'll pick this, like that, and then what we'll need is from image one, set picture two. I'll drop that in here, and then I'll set it to the photo like that. So that's it. Now we should uh, test to see if we get a, an image. And what's next? Then we go back to the design. And uh, let's see. Then I'll need a, a label below the button. So I'll drag in a label here. Like that. And then we need uh, the image recognition. Recognizer. It's here. I'll drop that. And then in the block editor, I'll need the image recognizer block. Uh, draw, select the image, in call uploads, and I'll paste, paste that underneath here like that and then I'll take the photo from here and drop it here and what's then then I'll yeah that's what I did here then drag and drop from label one set text to uh, yeah so I'll drag this and I'll drop it here in the in the callback function here for for the image recognizer recognizer so when the image recognizer uh, sends back a, a res response we'll uh, get um, the outputs from here and then we can drag the description to this one so that should be uh, this yes so we just had to pull the description into the label one set text block so that's it and now we're done so that was the first part um, so i'll collapse this and then i'll go back to my um, my app here and then i'll try and, and do uh, some some extra features here so the first thing i'll do is i'll set the alignment on vertical on this on the screen to, uh, to top and then I'll place a label above here. Try again. Drop it up here. Like that. And I'll call this uh, image recognizer. Like that. And I'll give it a font size of 36. Um, that's too large. 
Oh, and then I'll add a background color like this, and then I'll set the color to white and uh, set the width to fill container and I'll center it, text align, center like that, and I'll add uh, some padding to the top and the bottom. 10 pixels and 10 pixels here, like that. Okay, nice. I'll uh, change the size of the image to 300. 300, and I'll give it a rounded corner. Ball radius of 20, like that. And I'll change my button to button text here. To take photo. And I'll set the width of the button to 300. But I give the, the image some marking in the top here. So 10 and in the bottom. Oh, actually, I give the button a marking of 10 as well in the top. Something like that. And the label also give a marking of 10. Like that. So that's, that's the next part. So I'll I'll name this button take photo and then I'll make another button and place it here and uh, I'll give it the width of 300 And I'll call this open uh, get photo from camera roll like that. And then I'll name the label here for description. And I'll place another label. I'll actually uh, say here, description, no data, like that. And I'll place another label here. And I give that tags, no data. And I'll rename this to tags. Then I'll need a loading icon. I'll place that just below the buttons here. And I'll pick the, the small and I'll set it to invisible like that. Then I need the camera, or uh, what do you call it, the photo library that I think that's it so let's see I have my my layout here so actually I should have this in blue instead so yeah that's it so I have a photo library image recognition uh, I need the text to speech also I would like the, the app to say what's what's the description is so why is that text to speech it's here then i'll find the color of this one i'll grab the the hex code here and i'll make the background color up here the same color like that great so now we're ready to go into the blog editor and uh, we have this, so actually I'll uh, ref refactor this to, um, yeah, but uh, first I'll, I'll find the, um, 
the loading icon. So when I take a photo, I'll start the I'll show the the loading icon. So I'll find that over here, and I'll set its uh, visibility to true. So it will show up here, and uh, yes, then I'll actually take this and I'll make a, a function and I'll drop that in here so we can uh, reuse this so I'll call this uh, send image and I need uh, an input so I'll click here and I'll drag this in here and then I'll uh, actually, I have to rename this, so I click over here, call this uh, photo, like that. Then I'll call the function from here, and I'll drop the photo here. Then I'll change this photo over here to... I'll right-click here, and I'll create get photo, and I'll drop that here. So. The photo, that's uh, the photo we pass in here. I'll get from out here. Okay, so now we can reuse this, and actually I'll I'll set my two labels here. So the label description I'll call up here, and I'll call this uh, analyzing image. And I'll make three, three dots here. So when we are waiting for the answer to come back, we <coughs> we can see this. And the second label, I'll just uh, reset if we have uh, something in it. So I'll just drag this in here. Okay, and then I'll set the here when we get a call back from the image recognizer. I'll I'll set the image recognition or the loading icon. I'll set that to uh, false here, and then I'll I'll add on uh, on this one. I'll actually add a join here, so I'll, I'll put a description in front of this. Like that, and then I'll drop the description here. Then my second label, I'll pick it here, the tag label, and I'll call this tags, and I'll pick the tags here, like that, and then I'll call the text to speech. Uh, this one, and I'll call this description and duplicate this like that. Okay, so that was uh, the first button, and then the second button is uh, is uh, what's it called? Button. I forgot to rename it. So it's this one, button one, uh, camera roll, like that. So I go back here, and then I click this. When I click this button one, I'll open the photo library, and then I'll do the same here. So I duplicate this one. So I'll show the the loading icon until the uh, yeah. So so we show the loading icon and then we uh, set the image. 
on the screen to the photo and then we call duplicate actually this should be inside here so in here when we when we get the photo from from the from the camera here and when we get the photo from the camera roll here we send it to to the this function and then we call the image recognizer so that's that's how it should be so sorry i had put this outside so now uh, we're actually good to go um, so i made a little uh, video so i'll show you of the of the results so let's find that so it's here so i grab the the hot dog The hot dog. Then I'll pick a, another image from the camera. A large pepperoni pizza. Nice. So that's it. And then I'll just uh, drop in the the blocks here so you can see it so yeah actually maybe it's better to keep it to show this with the uh, right names so I'll just zoom in a little here so you can uh, watch the blocks here and then I'll go back to the designer and uh, show you the the design so have fun thanks